Hey guys, what is going on? I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial today on how to make a lined notepad using Google Sheets, which is the perfect dimensions. And also I'm going to announce that I'm gonna start making these and just have a Google document with all, uh, Google Drive with all of them in so that everybody has access to my interiors. The reason I'm doing this is because I think interiors keep a lot of people away from KDP but I've spent the last few days learning about it and now I'm pretty confident that this that you can see on the screen is a really, really good interior. If I just go down, you can see there are 120 lined pages and then the first page just says this book is the property of and that's it. It's that simple. You can find this in the description, but I'm also going to show you how I made this now. Okay, so I'll, I'll also include this in the description. My idea is to upload 10 KDP uh, notebooks because I think I can probably sell some KD notebooks. The good thing about this is they are low content, so I don't actually have to do anything. I just need to design a cover. And in a separate video, I'm going to show you how to find specific keywords for low content books. But in this video, I'm just gonna focus on creating an actual interior. So all you want to do is you want to go on file and then you want to click on page setup and then you want to go on custom and then you want to put the dimensions here. So 8.5 by 11, you can use whichever, whichever dimensions you want. Just make sure that this is inches here and then just press apply. This is now the correct size. And then here, all you want to do is write this book belongs to and then uh, a colon. And then get rid of this and let's put a line instead. I really hate these lines. I don't know if that's straight. That's the only problem. I don't know how to check if that's straight on uh, on Google Documents. But there you go. And then just make the line a bit thicker. There we go. Perfect. Move it down a little bit. That is the first page. You can change this font if you want, but this is just an example video, so I don't want to waste time. And then you want to do a new slide and then this is the really, really interesting part. So go on insert and you just want to insert a table one by one. And then you want to just drag this to the top like that and then make it a little bit bigger so that it covers the whole thing. Make sure it's black as well. You can make it a little bit thicker if you want, like you could do two pixels for example, but I, I, I'm not going to bother with that. And then just copy it, paste it, and then put the next one in the same place like that. It needs to be a little bit further up so that they're not clashing. Hang on. Okay, and then copy those two and then do the same thing with two of them now. And then copy and paste those. That's four of them now. And then that's 16, like that. And it's kind of an annoying process. I don't really like this process. And then you can guess how many left. Let's say there's this many left. So we'll copy and paste that. And then we are pretty much done. I'll leave the original one in the uh, description. I'm gonna put one more little box actually because otherwise it looks weird. The only annoying thing is the sizing here, but I worked out that we can do this. So I just control A and then just move everything down. Oops. Control A. And then we can put one more, maybe at the top. And just make it bigger. There we go, perfect. So it's got a little bit of a margin at the top. You can also, you can put a margin if you want uh, because some people might want a margin. You'd have to look at the specifications and you just put a line to put uh, a margin on the left or on the right. And then here you just wanna duplicate a few times. So we'll do four. And then we know that that's an even number. Now we just hold down control V after we've copied the pages. You can see this is pretty easy, honestly. It doesn't take very long at all. One more. Oh no, too many. And then just delete any pages left. Okay, now this, 
And this is now a permanent interior. This is the in this same interior will be on every single one of your journals. So now all you have to do is make a cover and then you already have this every single time. And you should be able to download this as a PDF, which you can. And then this is now a permanent interior that you can use forever, okay? I suggest that you keep them organized in a Google Drive, which is what I'm going to create now. And then I'm gonna leave the Google Drive link in the description. And I'm gonna slowly create more and more interiors for Amazon KDP, which will just be released for free. I'll probably include some um, editable templates like budgets and things like that. And I'll make separate videos on how to make budget things. But it, it's pretty easy, it's the same process, but for example, you would just write, you would write information here on each one and then you'd have different columns and you can just make a table again. And it's really, really interesting. It's really, really easy. And I'm so happy that I spent the time learning how to actually cre create my own interior instead of trying to download somebody else's. So let me just quickly set up that Google Drive so that everyone can see it and then I'll start working on more interiors when I can. Okay, so the idea is that this drive, it's going to be closed, but I can, if anyone wants to help me make some interiors for the community, please let me know and I will add you as an admin and we can create some together. That will be really, really good to, I, I would love to have this filled so that everyone who wants to start Amazon KDP can just do this without, you know, having to worry about paying for interiors or whatever and everything will be editable. So it's not like it's a Canva thing. Um, it, it's going to be fully editable and we can, all you have to do is change the font and then use a different cover and then every single one will be unique and we can all just basically profit from this together. Okay, so just to give you a quick sneak peek of how I'm going to actually find my keywords. I think I'm probably going to do hardcover notebooks because I personally prefer hardcover notebooks and I think they look better. So I need to first of all see if these are actually Amazon KDP and also they sell for more. But only 723 results for floral hardcover notebook. That's insane. <laughs> what? Um, but yeah, there are millions of keywords available here. I'm going to be digging into these keywords for sure. Let's just uh, one to 900 results. Okay, so there are some here. There aren't that many though. This is going to be super, super interesting. I hope you guys are excited too. Please, someone get in touch with me who is willing to spend some time to make some interiors with me for the community. They'll all be open, they'll all be free forever. So if someone helps me, then everybody benefits. I will eventually get round to it. Like already, I've seen that these are actually 8.25 by 6.25, which is different to this one here. So I will, I will remake this and use it as another template uh, for hardcover journals or notebooks, because it looks like all of them are 6.25 by 8.25 if they're hard covers and then these are smaller ones as well. I'm gonna get into everything, journals, etc., etc. So definitely join me for this adventure. I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope you find this interior useful and the interiors that will come in the future as well. I'll see you soon with some more content, probably later today, because it's Sunday and I've got a free day, so peace.